In this video, I'll explain how to make new word lists or add words to existing word lists. So to manage word lists, you go to the word list manager on the words menu, words, word list manager. So this window you can move or you can resize it to make it bigger as you like. And on the left here, you get a choice of two different tabs, main word lists and theme lists. The main word lists are large lists that you can use for filling grids directly. Theme lists are smaller lists of words for making vocabulary puzzles or using a theme list when you make a themed fill. So you can see that these are just plain text. There's no scores. They're just simple lists of words in order. Main word lists are much larger lists and each word has a score associated with it. The score is used to optimize the filling so that higher scored words are used more frequently. To make a new list, just click the new button here. Give it a name, my list. There are some options about the character set. If you're just making a standard English puzzle or a West European language, West European is fine. If you want to mix in other characters, if you want to use Cyrillic, say, or mix in combinations of Cyrillic and West European or even um, Japanese, you could use a Unicode list. And the equivalent letter setting just determines how the words in the list are mapped to letters in the grid. So uppercase all accents equivalents will mean that the accents are ignored on letters when they're put in the grid. They all just become uppercase. If you're a Scandinavian language, you might want uppercase accents distinct. For teaching, you may want case sensitive. So I just create my list with these standard default options. And I will now have a new empty list. If you've just got some particular words you want to add, you can add your word here. Whatever you want to add. So here the score, it can be set when you add the word. If you want to add something with a lower score, so perhaps you want to have plurals, for example, being downweighted, you might want to give that a score of 25. And then you'll have bird and birds, but the birds will be used less frequently than bird when you're using it for a fill. If you've got a lot of words on the clipboard that you want to use, you can use the paste batch command. So again, it should just be a plain text list of words. So for example, here, if I've got a plain text document, I could just select all these words and click paste batch. I'm going to set the score to what I want them at. These are probably all at 50. And now I've got those words all added in. I can click add all. And that will have added the words to my word list. You can then navigate the list if you want to, view it, change the score, edit the words, press to delete to delete. You can navigate the first letters here, or you can search on here if you want to. And that goes straight down to zebra. To edit a word, you can just select it and press the delete key on the keyboard and it will be deleted. Likewise, if you want to make a new theme word list, you can just click new, type in a name. It's asking you whether you want to save your changes as we did on the other tab, so click yes. Uh, so my theme list, this will create an empty theme list and then you can type in words as you wish. Of course, the internet is a very good source of theme words. If you are browsing the web and you wanted a list of animals, you might find something like this. Here you can just copy all of these. If they're in a simple format like this, you can just copy, select them and press Control C, go back, paste it in and you will have what you want. If it's not in a simple format, you may have to edit at this point to get one word per line as you want. You can see there are a few formatting problems here. There's some blank lines, which we don't want. Sort will get rid of the blank lines and make everything alphabetical. Every word is also capitalized here. If you wanted it all to be lowercase, which is probably more correct for most of these, you could click lowercase down here. Going back to a main word list, instead of pasting in from a plain text file, you could of course just convert a plain text file if you have a plain text file of words you want to convert. So just select plain text file on the convert menu. Again, save the changes to your list and navigate to wherever, maybe it's under your documents. Here I've got a list called animals in this directory. If I select the list, 
and open it. This now gives me a name for the converted list, which by default is the same. Same options for the scores and everything else. Create, and that will create a word list with the animals in it. You may find that you end up with words formatted incorrectly. For example, if I'd used add here, and then gone to the web page and copied these words and pasted them in, they would be added here. But again, we've got them all capitalized. If you end up with a word list that you've imported that doesn't have the correct punctuation or capitalization in, you can go to word list change format case, and that will allow you to modify systematically the case of the words that you've imported. Another very useful trick is to actually just set the formatting from the other existing word list. So the default word list, everything is correctly formatted. So all the words will be lowercase unless they're proper nouns. Also compounds will have spaces in the right place. So if I wanted to set formats from default, that will correct my list by using the default word list as a template. So now if I click OK, it will check every word in here against the default list and adjust it to be formatted according to the formatting in the default list. If I click that, click OK, now everything is lowercase as you'd expect, and things like Basset Hound have the space in the correct place. You can also add external files to a list that already exists. So this animals list here, I could go to words, add theme list or text file, and then select some file that I have on my computer, and that would merge it into the list. You can also merge an existing word list here. So if I wanted to go to add other lists, I can merge in some of the existing word lists into my list. So I guess the most obvious case here would be the birds list, although I, if I do this, I will end up with a very large number of birds. You can adjust the score if you want to, and you can specify how equivalent words are handled, i.e. things that differ by case or punctuation. Here the birds list is formatted correctly, so I can just use default options, click OK, and that will tell you it's added 9,877 birds. We've now got lots of extremely obscure birds in our list. If you want to restrict the list you've made and get rid of things that might be typos or things that are too obscure, you might want to duplicate the list by reference to another list. If you find you end up with something like this where there are far too many obscure entries, you can try to filter the list to only contain more common words by comparison against another existing word list. So if I go to words duplicate filter word list, I can there make a new list that includes only words also in one of the other lists. One problem you might notice here is that the birds list, everything has initial case. So everything has a capital letter at the beginning. So everything is not consistently formatted. Proper nouns and non-proper nouns are all capitalized. And that means that if we look at something like heron in this list, it's got a capital letter. Now in the default word list, of course, heron would not be capitalized. That means when you do this comparison, you have to do it in a way that doesn't depend on the casing. So the way to do that is go to word list, duplicate filter word list, put in the name for your new list. So I'm going to make a list of common animals by including words that are also in the default word list. But I'm going to do that using equivalent words. That means ignoring differences in case and punctuation. So it doesn't matter in this case that my current word list has slightly different punctuation. I can compare it against the default list, ignoring that, and this will only include words that match sensitively to that. Click Create. And I now have a list that contains my animals and birds, but only the words that are relatively common. So now I've got reasonably common birds added in here, like house finch, hummingbird, hornbill, and so on. None of the very obscure words that most people won't have heard of. Again, we've got a mixture of cases here. We've got uppercase and lowercase. So in this case, it might have been smarter to adjust the birds list before we started to, to be correct. Or I can go to word list, change formats case, lowercase, and put everything down to lowercase. 
generally speaking, a good strategy is probably to, if you're adding lists, to make separate small additional new lists and then merge them in once everything is correct and you're happy with the scores and everything else. It's much harder to correct things if you merge something in and you've made a mistake, and then you've got a mixture of correct things and wrong things. You can also remove words from other lists. For example, if you wanted to make a blacklist of words that you thought were inappropriate, you could make a blacklist and then use will remove words from. Or you can individually remove individual words if you want to. If you want to add to an existing list, of course, that's straightforward. You just select the default list, say. If you think of some great new words you want to add, you go to add, just type it in. So for example, in lockdown, everyone has been baking, so people are getting down to the Georgian cheese flatbreads kachapuri. So you might want to add that. Add, and then they will add it to the main word list. You might also come across words whilst you're making crosswords. Particularly if someone sends you a crossword, maybe it'll have some words in that are not in your word list. If you right click in the grid that's completed like this, that will show you matches in your word list. And here, the default word list does not have wide mouths in it. So if I wanted to add it, I can just add it here directly. Change the score, click Add Word, and Wide Mouth would be added to my default word list. And now it's in the list. If you have a clue database, you might also want to make a word list from the clue database for filling grid separately. You can convert a clue database by going to clue database words to list on this convert menu in the word list manager. And that will just make a word list using all the words in the clue database. If you're going to be putting a lot of time into making your own word list, of course, you should make a backup. A standard computer backup would normally include all these files by default if it includes the common default locations. But you can also go to the files menu, click backup word lists, and then you can select which words to back up and it'll make a file which you can then restore from later at any other point. This is also a convenient way, perhaps, of transferring word lists to other people if you want to share several of them at the same time. If you just want to share an individual file, you can go to File View Folder in Windows Explorer, and that will show you the individual files on your hard disk, which you can then share with other people if you want to. One final thing you can do is you can add words from a puzzle to a word list directly. Perhaps you've opened a puzzle from the internet and you want to add all the words in it to your word list. To do that, you open the puzzle, go to the words menu and select change scores of words in puzzle. So the naming here is not terribly obvious because normally this is for changing the scores rather than adding them, but the same window includes both. So here you can select the word list to add the words to, and then instead of changing the scores, you can select add words not in list. If you don't want to change the scores of words that are already in the list, just change this to zero. So that won't change anything that's already there. But checking add words not in list will add words that are missing at the moment. The other default options will be what you want normally by default. Although you might want to use all equivalent words to make sure that you don't add duplicates and this scoring happens in a way that's case insensitive if the puzzle that you've got doesn't have the solution words formatted correctly. If you're creating a freeform vocabulary puzzle, then you can actually just edit and save word list directly from in this window here. You can open the theme word list, edit it, click save changes, and that will be saved. You can open word lists, save them, load from a file, um, and do things in here without having to go first separately to the word list manager to do things. So that's about it for creating your new word lists and adding to word lists. There are a lot of optional additional word lists available with the program in the set of the bundle word lists and the separate additional word lists, particularly word lists in other languages, lists of compounds and phrases, various different long theme lists, more obscure words, and words in Wikipedia, which is an absolutely enormous list, including many, many proper nouns. So if you're interested in those, you can don't have them already, you can get them from the crossword compiler ordering page. Thanks for listening.